to school, learn all you can learn there. But after school stops, it's very important that you go and seek and find the information that's important for you. For you. We're gonna have Ian come up to Tahoe. So I love snowboarding. I guess that's no secret. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing to do. And we set out to go to a lodge. But they had such a catastrophic storm that came in just prior to when this trip was scheduled. The mountains uh, have their own plan always, you know, so you gotta respect the mountains. I just kind of rolled with the punches and... Uh, Ian called me and he's like, should I still should I still come? And it was raining at the time. You gotta just poke around and that's what I told him. We'll find some pow. I flew in on a red eye, drove for like three hours and then went straight into pow surfing. First time I'd met Ian, it was really cool to see, uh, just see the stoke transferred from the ocean to the mountains. Yes. To me, to be the best snowboarder you can be, you gotta like learn about everything, you know? Snowboarding has so many different little avenues. Nick moved in probably like three or four years ago. He's completely like gotten me into accessing the mountains on foot. The split boarding thing to me is the best idea in the world. I, th I think it's incredible. For me, it just comes from surf exploration too. I'd rather go a little bit farther and work quite a bit harder to maybe surf with no one out and have that experience of just who you're with. Minutes turn to hours and as soon as you know, you're on top of this beautiful line looking down and it's all worth it from there. Still a lot of weather and energy going on. We got a lot of wind. As it starts to settle, you want to see where it's safe to go. There was reports of massive avalanches. The decision-making process about what we're gonna ride, Jeremy's a natural leader. Just to see how he approaches everything, how methodical he is with the safety aspects, a general understanding of everything that's happening in the mountains at that time. So I think it was Ian's second time split boarding. I think he did one day prior to this trip. I just thought, you know, he's one of the homies in the crew and we're going out to go ride for the day. It's one of the most exciting days I've ever had in the mountains. There's like 50 mile an hour winds blowing over us and then he's like in his bindings like, you ready, let's go, just follow me. We're gonna go left over this cornice and then in. For me to be in the backcountry with Jeremy is just incredible. Just to see how he approaches everything. Safety is top priority. It's always changing every day, every new mountain range. You know, look at the last couple days with the wind, kick us into the trees on some mellow terrain and you just take what the cards are dealt. These big open panels between the trees that you could just lay into almost bottomless turns. You don't have to be on some big face. You can be in some 20 degree slope and do a turn in some soft snow. It can maybe inspire someone to want to go and do it themselves.
To be in the snow with Danny is pretty special for me. I think he has one of the best styles across any board sport. And it's fun to really see his approach to the mountains. A lot of different climates that can happen. I feel like I've seen pouring rain to dumping snow to no wind and blue skies and then like 70 mile an hour winds all in like a 24 hour period. I think my takeaway from here is it's really big and it's beautiful. You can always go a little bit further and be alone. It's, it's a truly special place. We ended up with a phenomenal crew here. The last three days have been like a blur. Like it was really fun for me to be able to experience some of the back country where we are and just pick up little details by watching the guys we were riding with the entire time. My initial thoughts coming on this trip is like, no matter what the snow is like, this is gonna be an adventure. So I'm just open to whatever. If we have to walk all day and all night to get somewhere, then I'm in.